Well, good afternoon, and welcome up to Windy Hill Kennel. I guess it's down or up, depending on what part of the country you're on. Ah, this is Autumn's kids. These guys are full of it today. They're getting big enough. I literally had to do two trips. I cannot carry them all in one basket. It's crazy how big they've gotten. Um, Allie today is our secretary's daughter. She was here and helping us all this week, which was a blessing. And I had Allie take weights and color collars for me and put the sex of the puppy on here for me. So you can see the energy level between this one and the litter from Marley's that I just shot. No comparison. These guys are six weeks old today. Uh, they just got their six week shot today, which obviously hasn't slowed them down whatsoever. And um, they're going to start coming to the house with us this weekend. Yippee. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, we've had puppies in the house with us for the last three weeks and Ah, we're going to have more puppies in the house, that's for sure. So the whole kennel has now spotted me. And unfortunately, and I always feel bad when that happens, but I moved into the shade where I could sit and they can see me. There's like three kennels that can see me. And of course, they've got the whole kennel barking at me. Uh, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to give you weights and collar colors. I'd yell at them if I could put you guys on silent for a, sec a second, but I'm not going to scream in your ear, so we're just going to let them bark. Okay, let's get started. There's a bunch of babies to go down through here. So, we're going to try and find collar colors when we're finished with the weights. So, 82.59 is 4 pounds, 0 and it has got a neon green collar on so that she says it's a brown and white puppy. Whoops. 82.57 is five pounds, 11 ounces. It's another chocolate puppy and it has a yellow collar on. 82.54 is four pounds, 11 ounces and it's a chocolate Merle and it has a light blue collar on. I think it's the one going in the circle. Oh, yep. It's coming through the circle, maybe? No, nope, going around it. Anyway, uh, 82.52 is 3 pounds, 4.5, and it's a chocolate. I'm pretty sure it's the little one here chewing on the rope toy in front of me. Mm -hmm. Oops, there goes my list. Oh, it's windy out here. Uh, 82.56 is 4 pounds, 2.5. It's a chocolate with a red collar. 82.53 is 5 pounds, 4.5. It's a chocolate Merle with a royal blue collar on. Uh, 82.51 is 4 pounds, 5 ounces with a chocolate Merle and a purple collar. 82.55 is 5 pounds, 1 ounce. It's a chocolate Merle with a forest green collar. So, I hope I didn't miss anybody. I was diligent to try and make sure I went right down with my finger. Um, the turquoise collared blue Merle is laying here with the pink toy, just tearing the daylights out of it. So, that's the chocolate Merle with the turquoise collar. The royal blue collar has the orange string toy right there, tearing it apart. You can get a couple quick glimpses of that collar. Oh... Uh, can't. Let me find out more collars. Hi, Ornery. What are you? Let me see your collar. Purple collar is right there underneath me with all the dark merle. That one's pretty easy to spot anywhere. Um, yeah, they've discovered me, so I can't do that anymore. Um, what's the other one that's over there? Forest green collar has the orange toy. It's the chocolate Merle over there with the orange toy, and it won't turn around. And the neon, nope, might be a red. The red color chocolate puppy is right there irritating that one, wanting its toy. So let's see, the yellow color chocolate puppy is right here by the stool. You can kind of get a glimpse of that yellow collar, but it's laying right by the stool. 
And I am pretty sure the purple collar is the little tiny one. Oh, now where'd it go? Okay. It's the, right there, it is the chocolate with the purple collar behind the tube, of course. There you can see the collar for just a second. Oh, it's kind of a wine colored collar. And it's having a great time playing all by itself, doing flips and rolls. It says, I don't have to play with these big bullies to entertain myself. There's the red color puppy again. So I think we have mastered most of them. Oh, you're going to poop right underneath me. That's so nice. I'll cover that up here in a second. When he's finished, I see you. I did get you guys. Oh, this great big one is under the stool. There it goes. Oh, here comes the other one behind it. Did you potty? Yes, you did. Let me get... Oh, of course, I set it right in it. All right. I moved that so nobody would get in that where they pottied. Um, <laughs> I'm actually being really mean because I'm sitting within toe length of the fence. That's the turquoise collar puppy growling at me. Everybody else is leaving me alone, but that one's decided it needs to be a pain. That one's got a tennis ball out there. I can't tell which one it is. I can't see the collar. It's the biggest chocolate one, I'm pretty sure. Yellow collar. Yep, it's the yellow collar. I just spotted it. Forest Green's got the big stuffed horse on the back of the play yard. These guys, honestly, have been really fun. Um, Autumn's puppies are always nice. They're just... She has the nicest puppies. They have phenomenal coats. They have great personalities. And I'm just really pleased with this type and the body style of puppies and the quality of puppies that she has. She's always been a great addition. Um, this one says, I am just going to kill this rag toy. Here comes the big yellow colored one through the tube. Nope. Oh, it's going to roll in there. Mesh the green collar when that's the neon green collar right there in front of the tube. They are busy. Oh, that was a way to come charging through the tube. She says, what happened to that tube? Blue eyes on that puppy. My goodness, that's the royal blue collar. Royal blue collar, royal blue eyes. I finally got you guys pictures, and I really apologize. You know, when you're so busy... You don't have time to honestly sit and look back through the website. Last week I was looking through the website and I said, oh my Lord, we never put face pictures on there when they got old enough. So I took pictures this week and I'll tell you what, at this age, to try and get them to sit on a table and take pictures is insane. So even though I took seven or eight of each one of them, I really only had about two of each puppy that I liked. So it was like, I'm not reshooting them. I don't have enough patience when they're that big to put them on a table. So it was awful, but we got them done. I wanted you to see their eyes. Uh, some of them have beautiful opal colored eyes. Some of them have the green eyes. Some of them have, um, well, it's either green or merle with this litter because they're chocolates. So it's either going to be merle eyes or green eyes. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so busy. They're getting at the age they like to wrestle. There goes the little chocolate one through the tunnel. She says, oh, I did it. I'm gone. I'm out. She's got the wine color collar on. She's going to go back through the tube. Uh, she's thinking about it. She's, oh, the big one's going to go after her. Don't pick on him. He's three times your size, Tootsie. They're busy, though. Honest to Pete. Oh, there you're going to be a circus clown and roll the tube. They're really klutzy at this age. They really are. Well, by this time, I hope I have spilled the beans for everything I can tell you about these guys. I do have crates in stock. I've got plenty of 36-inch crates. Um, 
I have uh, screw-on bowls. If you need screw-on bowls, I still have plenty of those. And other than that, that's really about the only thing I keep in stock anymore because after COVID, everybody wanted to shop online and get everything before you got your puppy. So um, I just kind of quit carrying everything. But I do have crates and I do have bowls because those bowls are hard to find. So we decided to go ahead and keep carrying those. But, um, oh, that was a good jump. You made it clear over the pub and didn't knock it down. Usually it doesn't go quite that nice. It's great out here. We're getting ready for rain and the breeze is coming up really nice. And I've got these guys pretty much in three quarters of shade and, uh, they're really enjoying being out here. But you should have gotten all your videos. You should have gotten your emails that have your vitamin information. Um, there's nothing else I'm going to send you. If you're getting your puppy by a nanny, your nanny will bring you your entire bag of everything you would have had if you were coming here. So, uh, if you, uh, I know the videos I sent you said that we shipped out bags to puppies that were flying. Well, that was pre-COVID and we always shipped out everything at that time, but from COVID on, since we don't ship puppies anymore, the nannies bring you everything. So it makes it much nicer. And when you get your puppy, you get everything uh, right there with the puppy when the, the nanny brings you your dog. So one favor I do have is if you would please text me and let me know if you're getting your puppy by a nanny so I can put it on my calendar as we are trying to get everybody's contracts together for those that are shipping by nanny and for those that are picking up. So it would be a great help if you could at least let me know if you're planning on a nanny. Also, if you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Uh, we're trying to get folders together and dates on the folders and times on the folders. So everything runs smoothly when people start coming. The folders will be all ready. Oh, they found me again. Yeah, there's blue eyes. It says, leave me alone. All right, well, I'm gonna get off of here. I'd like to get one more done today. I'm trying to get all these done myself since I have no help here this week with Vanessa off for two days. She'll be back tomorrow, but I think we have nine puppies going home tomorrow. So it is a super busy day tomorrow. We will sleep good tomorrow night. Let's put it that way. We're all gonna work ourselves crazy tomorrow. So have a good weekend, a safe one and a blessed one. And call me if you have any questions at all or would like to book in your puppy pickup. You can call me or text me. So have a great weekend. Say see ya. They're all sitting there going, uh. I know the mouthy ones are going to come see me for that. I know. I see ya. Hey guys, look up here. Nope, since that's your feet, you're not talking to us. All right, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.